it's just <sighs> oh, look at the panda sticker on the underside isn't that cute oh. that's all you get to see of that All right, y'all, here we are, messing with the 73 full vert blazer today. Gotta see if we can get these seats out of here. Oh, another fun project. Unfortunately, we don't have the passenger side seat. It is, I don't know, I, if I had to guess, I'd say that's a Honda seat, but I could be wrong. And, and it smells um, like there may have been some moisture in here. It's not that bad, really, when you look at it. I mean, there's no mold spores like up on the top. So it doesn't look too yeah, bad. Yeah, it's not terrible. No, it's not. But look at that light. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Let's not focus on that. Yeah. Maybe my theory is true. It's possible. And what's going on in the back here? Well, I'm going to yank that out. So, so we're going to find out, huh? We're going to find out. All right. All right, here we go. We're just going to start pulling junk out of here today. All right. We'll probably just throw these in the garbage after we smash them. Those aren't worth anything nowadays. It's just cheapo junk. Those are not going anywhere. I love those hubcaps. All right, what do we got here? Okay. This car cover. Is it a good car cover? You no, know, actually, it's... It feels amazing. I mean, I guess we'll open it up. It's, I don't know what it's to. If I had to bet, it's probably for that Impala. That but it's sold. going in the shop so it can it's stay go dry? In the shop. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can kind of tell. It's soft, doesn't smell weird, it's not all messed up. That's a good sign. Yeah, it looks totally fine. So we'll just throw it over here with other stuff that gets forgotten about. <laughs> Let's see. So these are the super cool seats that everybody loves. I mean, I'd love to run them, unfortunately. I just don't have the passenger side. But let's uh let's go grab a wrench. So one of the things that all good mechanics or body guys or whatever should always have a nice, easy to grab set of tools like Tyler's. So that way when I work on stuff, <laughs> I can just use his stuff. <laughs> All right, so far so good. So this one's coming out real nice. So we'll start there. How many bolts are there for this? I think on this one, there's probably six. There might be eight. I don't know, we'll hope for the best, but. With it getting played with over the years, it probably has four. I mean, I know when I do it, I cut corners and I don't bolt everything all the way in. Right. It doesn't really matter if your seat falls as you're driving. Not a big deal if you take a really tight corner. I, for me, the bolts, I like to just throw them on the floor haphazardly. It seems to make sense. And once again, this seat, this seat will probably just be tossed in the garbage because it's not. They're really easy to get. Nobody really wants these seats anyways. One of my favorite things about this thing though is this, the Lucky Rabbit's foot. Ew. That's nice. If you look at it closely, you can see it's still got nails. Gross. Yeah, look at that. So hmm. I'll probably soak that, make it into a stew. There we go. So Matt, remind me, what year is this blazer? 73. 73. Yeah, this is the first year of the square body. For those that haven't gotten to see all of it, I'll just do a little walk around while Matt does his bolt un uh, undoing. Yeah, there's another bolt, but I just cannot get this to go forward. Um, I mean, I know I'm going to fight it a little bit with 
the uh, all the bolts being out, but still it should be in a bear. Meanwhile, I'm going to notice and point out to everyone that there's a bucket of water in the passenger side. What, um, what pray tell may that be in connection with? Well, actually, so it's funny you ask. A lot of people that are into blazers, they actually put buckets of water inside to make sure that the water gods don't leak out of their tops. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. And then if you look down over here on the carpet, there's clearly some evidence of water. Right. Hey, okay, perfect. Slide that, slide that back. We'll pull this one back out and we will take this one and set it on the ground. Again, go. with throwing things haphazardly. Oh, it's the style. All right. Now, the gentleman that owned this vehicle, was he uh, the original owner, or no, do you know he that? No, bought, he bought it in 84, he said. He bought it in 84? Yeah, bought it in 84, and there it sat. He never drove it? No, 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 he did. I just mean, at his house. It stayed know? with him the whole time. Yeah, yep. So now, I'm going to break this thing, getting it out. This thing's definitely seen better days, but... It looks cool and vintage. Yeah, this is a super cool center console. No, they're a desirable piece for sure. So I want to make sure I don't damage it any more than it already is. I'm basically just going to take it, throw everything into the garbage that's inside of it. So you're just trying to find your way to the bolts yeah. through the contents of the console exactly. so what's the story with the seat is this original to the vehicle that seat the in the back, back? Yeah, yeah i think that's the original back seat i think that's the right stitch pattern and sure obviously a blazer back seat so i have no reason to believe that it's not and we'll, don't you love how they have the exposed bars for the old vehicles like safety um concerns were very different in 73 like having the metal exposed of the men were the armrests men were men well they also had children that would be, be riding back there so well, natural selection it's just so gummed up with gunk down on the bottom mm. you're doing this without gloves that's what makes it exciting because you never know what you're going to reach into. And what kind of texture you might feel. Yeah. Mm. Like the steering wheel, what's fun about these is they, uh, over time, they get nice and sticky. Oh, great. Now, are those all hair ties around the shifter? Those are all hair ties. Once again, those go with the lucky water in the bucket. So, so a lot this, of blazer guys have those. I'm going to presume that a woman may have been a frequent driver of this vehicle at one point in time. Either that or some guy with really awesome hair. Long, long male locks, perhaps. That's right. It's always fun when you're using a socket wrench and it just keeps smacking it and stuff. That's, you know, like you got your own beats while you're doing your project. That's right. So one more bolt, huh? Well. There you go. Oh, that's a good size bolt. That's what she said. Oh, oh my gosh. no. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? What are you going to do about that? All right. So, all that um, rat's nest of wires? That's all stereo wire stuff. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even notice that. How did I not? Where's it going? <laughs> good luck. What on earth? <laughs> Yay for modifications. Okay, we're going to get some peppers. Oh, dear. So, this is coming out. Hey, that didn't take long. No. Went mm -hmm. out, cut it out. Yeah. All right, so. On to the passenger side, huh? That's it. Great. Now, the seat that we have going in here, I don't know, we haven't shown that yet, but it's actually an A-body bucket bench. The strato bench is what it's for typically known as and it's a really cool seat you know I measured it it's just a touch narrower 
and the overall width of the factory seats in this thing. And since I don't have the passenger side, I thought, you know what, let's just run with it. We'll put that bench in here. And it's about the same condition as the rest of this rig. Well, it'll match. Yeah, it'll match. That'd be cool. Okay, this is crazy. Okay. You did me a solid. You set that outside. Oh, good. The bucket of water. Hey. Mm. Okay, so. That'll be fun. That might not just be water. That is murky. Ooh. An old bug covered dirty seat. That's okay. You could come around this side, then you wouldn't have to lay across the seat. It's all about cinematography, hun. Oh, geez. This is just, this is the only angle I could possibly. <laughs> but see, what's weird is you would think. Oh, you know what? Complete your sentences, dear. <gasps> well, there you go. Mm hmm. I don't know. I got a buddy who knows everything about these seats. You mind sticking around and I can give him a call? <laughs> He'll give you an estimate on how much the seats were. <laughs> Why don't we just move forward with our project, honey? All right. Yes. Hey, it's cool the seatbelts are in here. The original ones? Yeah. Cool. To be. Look how spacious it is in here, honey. That's right. Plenty of room to throw another old crappy seat in. Okay, so once these two last pieces are out. Then you'll vacuum? You'll vacuum. And then we'll take the seat and we'll see if we can't lube it up to make it flip forward because right now it hasn't been functioning the way it should. But it'd be really cool to have that thing in here. Take these. these really are sweet hubcaps. I mean, they're in amazing shape. I'm really excited to get new wheels on this thing and tires. The wheels and tires that are on right now, they're just, just temporary. Look at the $100 wheels and tires. Not bad for a hundred bucks. This is my vacuum I scored from Harbor Freight, our official sponsor. And uh, they just don't know it yet. No, they don't know yet. They, I mean, <laughs> somebody's got to pay for this stuff because I surely, I'm not. I just, man, it looked good. Next thing you know, it ends up in the back of the blazer. Yep, that's me. Um, no, this thing, this is awesome. The cord is long enough to reach. I mean, how far would you figure we are from the, the outlet inside the shop? Uh, good distance. Organized. Yeah, went around the refrigerator and <laughs> I back can't even follow. The but and then the hose, obviously the hose is big enough to go all the way out to the other side of the truck. So. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's vacuum this out real quick. <laughs> Fine job for Matt's detailing service. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, right. Is there a reason you're setting the vacuum on top of the tires? Yes. The tires are in the way. Ah. So this is the new Strata Bench. Stu, 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 Strata Bench. Yeah, you can see it's in really good shape. The, you know, the rust has uh, been what's holding it together. So we should be able to do something with it. Well, at least you're consistent with what you like. Yeah. I say let's flip it forward. Vacuum out the backside, make sure there's no arachnids. Do I have to touch this? My main goal is I hold the camera, you vacuum. Mm -mm. Okay, well then. All right, let's see here. Unfortunately, it's pretty lightweight. Listen to all the fun things falling out of it. Mmm. really cool is how well it functions. <gasps> there goes the vacuum. Well, that's only part of the course. All right, there you go. So what did we find under here? Well, anything creepy and crawly? There's a 1996 Mickey Rourke fan club coin. That's cool. <laughs> um, now, what are these cables and things? This is a really cool seat because this thing's actually power. 
Okay, let me so, come around so we can kind of get a better look at what yeah, we have. It's not in bad shape either. So it has power to it from what year? Uh, this is from a 1968 Oldsmobile Tornado. Okay. I pulled it out a couple weeks ago. Pump's there. It's got the necessary electrical connections. So what Looks does the good. power um, feature do? Uh, it allows it to slide for and for, to and fro. As opposed to needing to do that manually, huh? Yes, which also means when it fails, you can no longer move the seat manually. Kind of a bummer. So does it work? No, heavens no. Oh, okay. No, we would so never the seat will anything. not be able to slide. No, this seat will not be able to slide at all. But we hope that it will fold. So let's do a little bit of vacuuming on the back of this thing. All right. What we thought was change falling out was actually just rust falling on the spring. Oh, good. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah. You know, the backs of these are really nice. So they are. It's a good looking seat for sure. It'd just be so cool if we could get it to function. Let's back from the top of the Let's try to get this. You might have to move that rusty seatbelt. Yeah, it's kind of the, the idea. Would you concur and say that that seat's dark green? I would say that seat is dark green. I uh, I thought it was black this whole time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely dark green. Definitely. There's maybe a little more movement happening yeah it should it should move up quite a bit hey you're getting closer yeah whoop whoop Okay, that's cool. Which could potentially be hindering movements. <laughs> there you go. There's one piece. Mmm, what a lovely shade of rust. So, now, what I'm wondering, I wonder if this weighs more than the oven. Yeah, we moved an oven together today. Actually, I don't think it weighs more than the other. You know what that means? You need my help? Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Well, I have gloves for just such an occasion. Uh, dragging it over this way. We're going to go for it. What do you do? Ooh, this is going to be tricky. I don't know how many people, if anybody, put a bench seat in a blazer. <laughs> and think about that. <sighs> yeah, if you're on your knees, you might be able to get a little bit better leverage. I'm trying. I know. I'm not usually who you call for muscle. <laughs> But this video is going to show you can do it. I'm trying. There you go. Ooh, that's nice. My glove is stuck. Okay, one, three. Almost there. Almost there. Good grief. Told you it fit. Hate the first time I said that, huh? <laughs> First of all, it's sitting amazing. That's really cool. We can't say anything here. I'm gonna come around the other side. It's a little bit narrow, but I don't. 
kind of close if um, someone's sitting in the middle for the shifter, but is this just for four wheel drive? That's the four wheel drive shifter. Okay, yeah. so you probably wouldn't be using that feature very often no. if you're just cruising. Nope. So, now I think everybody's gonna probably be coming in and out on that side. Make sure that one flips, but I wonder if, uh, I'll well take a seat in it, huh? You're not sitting on the couch after. Oh, you this. know what? That's not bad. Not bad. What I'll probably do is build up a couple blocks just to lift it up a touch. I don't know. Maybe not. It's not bad. Sitting kind of low. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's up? We riding. All right. Look at that. Fresh carpet. Seats all redone. Uh, ready to hit the beach. <laughs> so, I dig it. I don't know. What do you think? It looks cool. It's just a very well-worn seat. This is awesome. I mean, you sit a little low with it like that. But really, it fits in there really good, you know. It's a touch narrow, but not bad. Feels really nice. You know, and if the seat had new foam in it and stuff, it'd sit up higher and, but I'm not worried about it. It's just an old beat up blazer, you know? And it's cool because it has something so different than everybody else. No, Driver Studio, D-R-I-V-E-R-S-S-T-U-D-I-O.com. Go there, we're about to make some crazy changes, gonna revamp the website. We wanna be known as a website built for car people, by car people. We're really out here all the time doing this stuff. As you see, every single day, this is how we live always playing with junk and we help people out there to play with junk come to our website and check us out and use us we're completely free always free always going to be free we want to be known as the site like i said a couple changes coming up anything 1987 and older a little bit of a change from what we were in the past but you know we kind of want to be that niche market and uh that's really what we focus on is the older gm stuff any kind of stuff but as long as it's 1987 and older we're the place to go anything automotive related you find a cool video out there you make a cool video post up on our site you got some cool parts for sale post up on our site you got a car or truck for sale post up on our site tell us the story throw some pictures up on there tell us the, the cruise you did last weekend tell us about your road trip you did go on there support us help us to grow we want to be known as the website to go to so until next time we're gonna keep banging on these rides and getting this stuff back on the road driver studio out